Animals. Animals are dying. Coral is dying. Whole entire coral reefs are dying. A reef is an area under the sea filled with many plants, animals, and yes, coral. This is what reefs look like. They are beautiful, diverse areas that do many amazing things. Something that coral reefs do is they protect coast from erosion because they cause the growth of seagrass. Another thing that coral reefs can do is they can clean ocean water because the many plants and animals there act as a filter against dirt. And finally, coral reefs can treat cancer. Scientists have been able to develop anti-cancer cells just by studying reefs. There's a reef, one you probably have heard of before, the Great Barrier Reef, which is located off the coast of Australia. This is what it looks like. It is the largest reef in the world, and it does many amazing things. But even though it is beautiful and a sprawling area, it is not what it used to be. It is dying. Reefs are dying for three main reasons, and this is the first one. The first thing that is causing the death of coral reefs is global warming. Global warming is the term for how the Earth's temperature is heating up due to our actions, such as utilizing fossil fuels for transportation, heating, and electricity. When the temperature of the Earth heats up, that increases the atmospheric temperature, which will then increase the prominence of strong storms and hurricanes. This is what happens when hurricanes come into coral reefs. It breaks the coral. Storms can also move around sand, and then that sand can smother and kill the coral reefs. The second thing that is causing the death of coral reefs is coral bleaching. Coral bleaching is a phenomenon that turns the coral white and makes it more susceptible to disease. This happens when the temperature of the water increases. This is what coral bleaching looks like. All of the color has been dragged out of that coral. Coral bleaching is very, very dangerous. In 2016 and 2017, the bleaching of the Great Barrier Reef killed over 50% of the coral that it had at that time. That's half. The third thing that is harming coral reefs is pollution. Pollution is something that many people do even without knowing it. If you throw your plastic water bottle onto the ground, that's pollution. And that plastic could end up in coral reefs. When plastic ends up in coral reefs, it will disease the coral. And that's what diseased coral looks like. You may be noticing a trend in that these past three pictures have all been very ugly and devoid of life, unlike that first coral picture. If coral reefs die, this could create a domino effect because the fish inside the reefs will also die. Think of it like this. There's a small fish that lives in the coral reef, and it'll die if it doesn't have its home. So then that medium fish that eats the small fish will die because it doesn't have food. Then the large fish that eats the medium fish will also die because it can't eat the medium fish. This could affect fishing, which is a livelihood and a necessity for many people. And it can also affect the seafood industry. Seafood is one, delicious, and two, a main source of protein for over three billion people on the earth. That's over 25% of the current world population. So if the coral reefs die, it not only hurts them, but it could hurt what we eat. Coral reefs also protect coastlines from erosion because, like I mentioned earlier, they cause the growth of seagrass. Without coral reefs, your favorite coastline that's protected by a coral reef could be eroded and could go underwater. So you might not be able to visit your favorite beach as often. And coral reefs have a great economic impact on the earth especially in Australia. The Great Barrier Reef provides 64,000 jobs for Australia and brings in $6.4 billion yearly to the Australian economy. If everyone watching, one, made sure that they did not pollute the environment, like the next time you see some trash on the ground, make sure you pick it up and put it where it should be and never throw trash on the ground. If everyone watching helps stop global warming by going green, you could just do simple things like turning off the lights when you leave your house. That would have a great impact on coral reefs. And another thing, if everyone watching raised awareness for coral reefs, 
then there's a chance that the Earth would not end up looking like this. It would look like this. Thank you. <laughs>